Hello everyone, this is Veronica and welcome back to the Learning Lab episode number 68. I just want to share with you that I've finished the top and the bottom and I've masked off my border so that I can put in that yummy buttery banana yellowy color and um, I'll show that to you and then I'm going to get started applying some paint to the wall. Here is what's going to go in between that stripe and it's banana cream. Just about as yummy as the green and the blue. Now what's going to go in between the border is I just got some samples of a lavender card strip. They're kind of light because it includes the deepest, the middle tone, and the lightest tone. And by using all those together I should be able to get a bit of dimension when I'm stamping that flourish. So I better get up off the floor and get my brush to the wall. I'll check in with you guys later. After a few delays, I have finally gotten my green, yellow, and blue onto the walls. Now it's time to go back in with my lavender, do some line trim work, and stamp my flourishes. I'm kind of changing my mind on how I want to go on this, but I know I'll come up with something that'll work for me, and then of course I'm going to share it with you guys. So I'll be back when I've made progress. Now because I have some of you on this journey with me, I want to share a little bit of my thinking process with you. I'm going to do the two 9 inch cubes and put them across from each other and then buy a piece of melamine that's going to span all the way across the top. I have the leaf from my breakfast nook table just to kind of give me an idea. I know it's not the right uh, length or width, but visually it's helping me to plan it out. So my thought process now is the person sitting across from me crafting, I hope I'm so lucky, will have enough space to put a stool or a chair on on this side and then on the other side for me I'll have enough room to sit and then enough wall space behind me that I won't feel claustrophobic. Right now I still have my bookshelves kind of in the room. I push them over to the side but I will have enough walking space once I enter the room um, to walk around because these shelves only jut out uh, one foot 12 inches into the room so I measured and that's going to give me about four feet of clearance so I should be good just getting that piece of melamine adding some trim around it getting a workspace set up that's my goal right now so I can get everything unpacked and organized so off to do a bit of shopping and I'll be back I went out, did a bit of shopping, and I came home with two of these nine cube organizers from Jet Max. Put it together, took about 45 minutes to an hour, seriously. And I'm pretty good at putting these things together. Once I got it together, I wasn't all that impressed with the quality of it. Was out today and picked up one of the Martha Stewart ones. They are essentially the closet made ones with her name on it. Put it together, I gotta tell you, I was much more pleased and how that one turned out versus that one. I'm gonna go behind them and give them a little shake test so you can see just how sturdy or how not sturdy they are. So this one is the Martha Stewart, pretty sturdy. This one is the Jet Max and when I push it, you can see the amount of give that it has in it versus the Martha Stewart one. Although it's not the one that I bought from Target, like the green one I showed you yesterday that I got from my son's room, it's pretty sturdy. I can't remember who made the green one, but if I could find what the name of it was, I'd hunt them down and get about 10 because they are so solidly put together. It's incredible. And I put together the Martha Stewart one in about 15 minutes versus 45 minutes to an hour for the Jet Max. I now have to disassemble the Jet Max because sadly it's going back to AC more. Oh wow, talk about your journey. I have disassembled the Jet Max Cube, packed it up, put it back in its box and it's on its way back to AC more tomorrow. I'll go to Home Depot, pick up another one of the white ones by Martha Stewart and hopefully I get my melamine top cut and ready to go. So here are my bookcases that I brought with me from my apartment and uh, okay <laughs> I should let you in on this the flourishes swirl stamp that I have I cannot seem to locate it so after devoting an hour of my time to looking for it I decided to let it go and press forward so I've gone ahead and put my bookcases in 
And if you look over to the far corner over there, you can see that paper pack. So I measured the shelf down so that I could stack those across. Those shelves are adjustable. I don't know what I'm gonna use that big center for, but something really neat. And then down at the bottom, those are my really useful boxes. And I measured out that shelf so that I could stack two of those. But if you look at the really useful box shelf and the paper pack shelf, they are at the same height. So I could actually fill in with paper, which <laughs> I have a lot of, and uh, really utilize my space well. So I'm gonna go and start grabbing some things and start loading in these three bookcases. I'll check back in with you soon. Here with another quick update. The Jet Max cubes are gone and I now have two Martha Stewart ones. And what I need to have cut is a piece of melamine to go across the top that's going to become the bridge between those two pieces. I'm going to go around and open the bottom drawer there. These fit perfectly into this with no wasted space. I have two of them. But now I think I want to go out and probably get more that are just going to fill this up. If I can find some more of these, I think I'm going to go out and do that because I hate having wasted space on my cube. So as I said, I started loading in just so I could get an idea of what my storage needs are going to be. Now the cube on the far wall will just have some storage things that I don't use that often. And I won't have to get to them as much. So in this cube I have some of my really useful boxes and I love again how they maximize the space and I'm not wasting any. I don't know where all of these things are going to go but I'm going to swing around. I'm just trying to figure out what kind of space I need. So if I start all the way at the top you can see where I've just started loading in a lot of my paper packs, a lot which still need to be labeled and on the very bottom there I also still have some more of those really useful boxes I've tried to space my shelves where I can maximize all the room within that shelf without having anything wasted and there's my ribbon ring just kind of hanging off my little binder thing there but uh, as you can see lots of paper and down at the very bottom there right down here on the very bottom I again love these shelves I a con I'm a container girl so I like being able to contain what I need and I love this because they fit with uh, enough clearance room that I can pull them in and out and this actually holds some of my rubber stamps and these are sayings right now these rubs are here and these are some of my acrylic stamps some paper and these 8 by 8 iris boxes which I love I'm thinking that I might need to readjust the top shelf and bring it down one just so I'm maximizing all of my space there. So, I still have yet to touch my crafty goodness closet. I have another one that's like this one that's filled with some things that I use on a semi monthly basis. So I don't want it packed away too far. The other one right over there, I don't use those items as much. So I'm thinking that I can really maximize this area under the staircase and I can push those into there. Next plan of action is to determine what I want to do with this wall space. I did locate my stamp. I'm going to bring it around, show it to you there. There are several of them on here, but I think I like that one best. So I'm going to use that for my wall and put just a bit of this iridescent medium in it to give it a little bit of sparkle. We'll see how that comes out. But if I do all that work on that yellow, I really don't want to cover it. So I'm considering some floating shelves or some of those ladder bookcases so that you can see through it and be able to see everything um, that I've created before you get back to where my desk work area is going to be. I'm considering putting my sewing machine over there. Really haven't made up my mind yet. But one thing I have made up my mind on is that I have the best sun ever. I just celebrated a birthday. I know turning 30 was hard but you know somebody's got to do it and for my birthday my son got me some spell binders. I got the floor de lis rectangles, the floral doily motifs, 
lacy ovals and the florida lace squares i love that little guy okay i'll be back uh with another update as soon as i can